Move over, black holes. There's a new cosmic nightmare in town. The James Webb Telescope has uncovered a phenomenon so strange and ominous, it challenges everything we thought we knew about the universe. Meet the Gravastar, a mysterious, physics-defying entity that might just be the evil twin of black holes. What are these eerie cosmic objects hiding? And could they rewrite the story of the cosmos as we know it? Strap in, because this discovery might be the most chilling tale the universe has to offer. The universe is a vast and mysterious expanse, home to some of the most awe-inspiring and perplexing phenomena ever imagined. Among these, black holes have long held the spotlight as nature's ultimate enigmas. Cosmic abysses where gravity reigns supreme and the known laws of physics break down. For decades, scientists have marveled at their terrifying power to devour stars, warp space-time, and even trap light itself. But now, an even darker and more elusive contender has entered the stage. The Gravistar, dubbed the evil twin of black holes. Gravistars represent a bold and controversial alternative to one of astrophysics' most well-established ideas. Unlike black holes, Gravistars do not harbor a singularity or an event horizon. Instead, they defy the conventional narrative of stellar death, existing as peculiar structures that blur the line between known physics and speculative theory. The Gravistar's potential discovery could revolutionize our understanding of gravity, space-time, and the evolution of massive celestial objects. If proven real, these cosmic entities might resolve some of the long-standing paradoxes associated with black holes, including the problem of singularities, regions where density and gravity become infinite, and physics as we know it ceases to function. In the quest to unlock these mysteries, humanity's most advanced eyes on the universe, the James Webb Space Telescope, JWST, may hold the key. Launched with the ability to peer deeper into the cosmos than ever before, JWST's unmatched infrared imaging and spectroscopic tools can probe the farthest reaches of space and the faintest cosmic phenomena. These capabilities position it as a game-changer in the search for Gravistars, offering hope that the theoretical might soon become observable. As JWST continues to deliver unprecedented insights into the early universe, galaxy formation, and the behavior of celestial objects, the possibility of identifying Gravistars feels closer than ever. Could this revolutionary telescope uncover proof of these strange entities? And if so, what would it mean for our understanding of the cosmos? The answers lie in the data yet to come. But one thing is certain. The universe's most chilling secrets may soon be revealed. But what is a Gravistar? A Gravistar, short for Gravitational Vacuum Star, is a theoretical cosmic object that challenges the traditional understanding of black holes. Proposed as an alternative model, a Gravistar represents a radically different outcome when a massive star collapses. Unlike black holes, which are characterized by their central singularity and event horizon, Gravistars present a more complex and stable structure. The key to a Gravistar's existence lies in its unique composition. At its heart is a quantum vacuum, an enigmatic state of energy where matter ceases to exist in its conventional form. This vacuum exerts an outward pressure that counters the inward pull of gravity, effectively halting the catastrophic collapse that leads to a black hole's singularity. Surrounding this core is a rigid shell of exotic matter, a theoretical substance that behaves unlike anything found in ordinary stars or planets. This shell is thought to provide the structural integrity necessary to maintain the Gravistar's stability, creating an object that is fundamentally different from a black hole in form and behavior. Unlike black holes, Gravistars lack an event horizon, the point of no return, beyond which nothing, not even light, can escape. This absence makes Gravistars theoretically more transparent to the universe. They might not trap information in the same way, avoiding some of the paradoxes that plague black hole physics, such as the information paradox, which questions whether information that falls into a black hole is truly lost forever. Though purely theoretical at this stage, Gravistars are considered equally fascinating and potentially transformative to our understanding of the cosmos. If proven real, they could challenge the way we perceive gravity, quantum mechanics, and the fundamental structure of space-time. How are Gravistars born? Gravistars are thought to form under extreme cosmic conditions during the death of massive stars. Their formation process begins similarly to that of black holes, 
but diverges at a critical point due to a unique phenomenon. When a massive star exhausts its nuclear fuel, it loses the ability to counteract gravitational forces. This causes the core to collapse under its immense weight, leading to an intense rise in temperature and pressure. Unlike in black hole formation, where the core continues collapsing into a singularity, gravistars undergo a distinct phase transition. During this transition, the matter in the collapsing core transforms into a quantum vacuum, a mysterious state of energy devoid of matter and governed by quantum mechanics. This quantum vacuum generates outward pressure, halting further collapse and balancing the inward pull of gravity. Encasing the quantum vacuum is a dense shell of exotic matter. Exotic matter, a theoretical substance with unusual properties such as negative pressure or energy, provides structural stability to the gravistar. This rigid shell acts as a boundary, maintaining the equilibrium of the structure. The outward pressure from the quantum vacuum and the inward gravitational forces reach a stable balance, resulting in the formation of a gravistar. Unlike black holes, gravistars do not collapse further or form a singularity. Instead, they remain stable and might emit faint energy as they stabilize, potentially making them detectable. And what's the role of the James Webb Space Telescope? The James Webb Space Telescope, JWST, is the most advanced observatory humanity has ever created, and it is uniquely positioned to uncover some of the greatest mysteries of the cosmos. Among its many potential discoveries, JWST could play a crucial role in identifying gravistars, which are currently theoretical objects. These enigmatic entities are so elusive that their very existence remains unproven. But with JWST's exceptional capabilities, we may be closer than ever to confirming their presence. JWST's powerful infrared imaging allows it to look beyond dense clouds of gas and dust, revealing regions of space that were previously hidden from other telescopes. This ability is especially important for searching for gravistars, which may exist in areas obscured by interstellar material, such as the remnants of supernovae or galactic centers. JWST's infrared observations could uncover objects whose properties differ from black holes or neutron stars, potentially identifying a gravistar for the first time. In addition to its imaging power, JWST's spectroscopic tools allow it to analyze light emitted or absorbed by celestial objects. By studying the unique energy signatures of distant objects, JWST can help identify subtle differences between black holes and gravistars. Since gravistars are theorized to emit faint but distinct energy patterns due to their quantum vacuum cores and exotic matter shells, JWST could detect these unique emissions, offering evidence that supports their existence. JWST also has the capability to observe the gravitational effects of massive objects. While both black holes and gravistars warp space-time, the lack of a singularity and event horizon in gravistars means they may exert different gravitational influences. For example, Gravistars might produce a unique form of gravitational lensing, the bending of light from distant objects, that differs from the lensing produced by black holes. Such differences could provide another method for identifying gravistars. Another significant advantage of JWST is its ability to observe the behavior of matter near the edge of these cosmic objects. In black holes, matter and light are trapped beyond the event horizon, but gravistars, lacking such a boundary, would allow light and matter to behave differently. JWST can study how matter interacts near these objects and could detect any deviations from the expected behavior seen around black holes, offering a clue that the object might be a gravistar. JWST's observations could also test theoretical models of gravistars. If the telescope identifies objects with characteristics predicted for gravistars, such as the absence of an event horizon, unique gravitational effects, or faint energy emissions, it would provide solid evidence supporting the theory. This would help resolve key questions in astrophysics and deepen our understanding of cosmic phenomena. The discovery of gravistars would have profound implications for our understanding of the universe. It would challenge existing theories of gravity, quantum mechanics, and stellar evolution, offering a new perspective on the life cycles of massive stars and the fundamental structure of space-time. If gravistars are real, they could open up entirely new areas of research in physics, potentially bridging gaps between general relativity and quantum theory. In short, the James Webb Space Telescope is not just a tool for observing the cosmos, 
it is a key to unlocking some of the universe's deepest secrets. If Gravistars exist, JWST could be the instrument that finally reveals them, leading to a dramatic shift in our understanding of the most extreme and mysterious objects in the universe. Could Earth be close to a Gravistar or black hole? Which poses a bigger threat? The possibility that Earth is near a Gravistar or a black hole is very low, but not entirely impossible. The universe is vast, and while black holes are scattered throughout space, the closest known black hole to Earth is still several thousand light years away. Our solar system is located in a relatively safe region of the Milky Way, far from the centers of galaxies where supermassive black holes are typically found. The closest known black hole to Earth is in the system called a 0620-00, approximately 3,000 light years away. This is still a great distance, and its gravitational influence would not have any significant effect on our solar system. Supermassive black holes, like the one at the center of our galaxy, Sagittarius A star, are located around 26,000 light years away. While their gravitational pull is vast, it doesn't impact Earth due to the great distance between us. Gravistars are hypothetical objects, and there is no confirmation yet that they exist. If Gravistars do exist, it's even less likely that Earth is near one. These objects would form under very specific conditions, and their existence has not been proven. Because Gravistars are speculative, their behavior and influence are not fully understood, but they are not expected to be as common as black holes. If Earth were near a black hole, it would pose a significant threat. Black holes have intense gravitational forces, and anything that gets too close could be pulled toward the event horizon, the point of no return. This would cause severe distortions in space-time and could tear apart anything within the vicinity. However, as the nearest known black hole is thousands of light years away, it is not a direct threat to Earth. Gravistars, if they exist, would likely be much less threatening than black holes. Unlike black holes, they do not have an event horizon, which means they do not trap light or matter. They also do not have a singularity, meaning there wouldn't be a point of infinite gravity. While Gravistars might emit faint energy signals or gravitational waves, they are not believed to be as dangerous as black holes. However, the exact nature of Gravistars is still unknown, and their potential effects are speculative. However, if a black hole suddenly appeared near Earth or the Moon, the catastrophic consequences would be far-reaching and devastating. The most immediate and striking effect of a nearby black hole would be the distortion of space-time itself. Black holes create intense gravitational fields that bend space-time so dramatically that even light cannot escape once it crosses the event horizon. If a black hole were to suddenly appear close to Earth, the first thing that would happen is a change in the way Earth and the Moon orbit the Sun. The gravitational influence of the black hole would distort Earth's orbit around the Sun. The planet could be pulled in different directions, depending on the black hole's mass and proximity. If the black hole were sufficiently close, Earth could be torn from its orbit around the Sun and begin spiraling toward the black hole. This would be a slow process, but it could eventually lead to the complete destruction of Earth. The Moon, too, would be severely affected. Its orbit around Earth could change, leading to a breakdown of the delicate balance that exists between the two bodies. The Moon might be pulled into the black hole, or its gravitational pull on Earth could be altered in such a way that it causes extreme tidal effects on Earth. As an object gets closer to a black hole, it experiences an increase in the difference of gravitational pull from one side to the other. This is known as tidal force, and as the distance between Earth, or the Moon, and the black hole decreases, these forces would become more intense. The difference in gravitational pull between the near and far sides of Earth could become so extreme that the planet itself would undergo a process known as spaghettification. In this process, Earth would be stretched and compressed, pulled into a long, narrow shape like spaghetti. This intense tidal stretching would likely tear the planet apart before it even reaches the event horizon. Oceans, land masses, and even the planet's core would be disrupted, leading to extreme seismic activity, volcanic eruptions, and atmospheric breakdown. The entire structure of Earth would begin to disintegrate due to these immense force. As Earth is stretched, its oceans would be pulled outward. 
Tsunamis of unimaginable size would flood across continents, while the atmosphere itself would become turbulent. The pressure would likely be so intense that Earth's atmosphere would begin to be stripped away by the tidal forces, leaving the planet devoid of breathable air. If the black hole were situated between Earth and the Moon, the Moon's orbit could be destabilized first. Black holes are known for their gravitational influence, and the closer the Moon gets to the black hole, the more it will be pulled by its immense gravity. If the Moon were to cross a certain threshold, it could be torn away from Earth's orbit and drawn toward the black hole. The loss of the Moon would have severe consequences on Earth. The Moon stabilizes the tilt of Earth's axis, which in turn keeps our planet's climate relatively stable. Without the Moon, Earth's axial tilt could vary wildly, causing chaotic shifts in climate and seasons. The length of days could also change drastically. Currently, the Moon helps slow the Earth's rotation, but without it, Earth's day could shorten or lengthen unpredictably. Once Earth or the Moon crosses the event horizon of a black hole, the point beyond which nothing, not even light, can escape, it would be irrevocably drawn in. The matter in the planet or moon would be stretched and compressed beyond recognition as it approached the singularity at the center of the black hole. As Earth or the moon is drawn closer to the black hole, it would likely form part of the black hole's accretion disk. This is a rotating disk of gas, dust, and debris that spirals around the black hole before being pulled in. The friction and heat generated in the accretion disk would cause an explosion of radiation, emitting powerful X-rays and gamma rays. This energy would bombard the planet, causing widespread radiation damage to any living organisms, and potentially sterilizing the entire planet before it was consumed. Black holes are also known to emit gravitational waves, ripples in space-time caused by extremely powerful cosmic events, such as the merging of black holes. If a black hole were close enough to Earth, these gravitational waves could distort space-time on a global scale causing massive shaking of the planet. This could result in enormous earthquakes, landslides, and volcanic eruptions. The interaction between the black hole's gravitational field and Earth's own gravitational field would likely create a cascade of energy that further disrupts the planet's structure. These waves could also stretch and compress Earth's crust, potentially triggering catastrophic seismic activity. As the black hole's gravitational field pulls in matter from Earth, including gases, water, and even solid material, the matter would be heated to extreme temperatures in the process of accretion. This process generates a significant amount of radiation. As Earth, or the Moon, approaches the event horizon, it would likely emit powerful radiation in the form of X-rays, gamma rays, and potentially even neutrinos, all of which could severely affect the atmosphere and any remaining life on the planet. The radiation could penetrate deep into Earth's atmosphere, breaking down molecules and depleting the ozone layer, leaving the planet exposed to the harmful radiation from the sun and the black hole itself. As the black hole pulls in matter, it can grow larger and more powerful. The larger the black hole, the stronger its gravitational pull becomes, accelerating the destruction of Earth or the Moon. If the black hole were to continue growing, it could eventually consume everything in the solar system, pulling in planets, asteroids, and even the sun itself. The fate of the entire solar system could be sealed by this event. In a nutshell, if a black hole were to appear near Earth or the Moon, it would trigger a series of catastrophic events. From gravitational distortions and tidal forces to the loss of the Moon and the intense radiation emitted by the accretion disk, the planet would face extreme destruction. While such a scenario is highly unlikely, it represents one of the most extreme and terrifying possibilities in the universe. Fortunately, the vastness of space means that Earth is safe from such an event for the foreseeable future. The discovery of Gravistars opens up a new chapter in our understanding of the cosmos. These mysterious, evil twins of black holes challenge everything we thought we knew about gravity, space-time, and the life cycle of stars. With the James Webb Space Telescope leading the way, we may soon uncover even more secrets that could change the way we see the universe forever. So, stay curious and keep your eyes on the skies, because who knows what other cosmic mysteries are just waiting to be discovered. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell so you won't miss any of our deep dives into the wonders of space.